Hey homies, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to see how Atlas made this awesome jack-o'-lantern, keep watching. First things first is our pumpkin and this one was gorgeous. It's big, round, super orange and perfect for the project. Next I'm using apple barrel paint in jet black. It costs about 50 cents at Walmart. It is non-toxic and washable. This painting sponge was perfect because it helped me to get just the right amount of paint on his foot and we didn't get too messy. The very first step in this project is to wash the pumpkin. Please wash them off. This is super important. These grow outside. They can have dirt, dust, pesticides, and anything else that's harmful on them. So make sure you give them a good scrub before letting baby interact with it. This is going to keep them safe. Plus, as a bonus, washing the pumpkin gives us a nice surface to work with and helps the paint to last longer. I'm using a dry erase marker to map out where I want his handprints and footprints to go. This way it's easy to just stamp his hand or foot into the right place. And now it's baby time! I put the brush on Atlas's feet just to see how he would like it before we even got started because I wasn't sure how he was going to respond to the brush going on his toes, but he was just fine. So when I worked with him, I let him sit in his bath seat and that worked out really good for this project. It kept him at the right angle and gave me easy access to his hands and feet. On the floor, I would have had to hold him and try to paint on him at the same time, so this definitely made it easier. And when I was painting his foot, I found out that using a little paint gave a better footprint. I only painted the dots of his toes and I avoided the arches to get a better footprint on the pumpkin. As you can see here, I'm lifting up the pumpkin and bringing it over to his foot. This definitely helped rather than trying to make his leg reach the pumpkin because I was able to basically hold his foot in place and just stamp it right on. So Atlas started to get upset and he was ready for a nap. I went ahead and put him down and while he was napping, I decided to redo the mouth. The paint washed off very easily with just plain water, even after the paint had already dried. So that is a big plus with this. After a nap, some milk, and a poop blowout, we were ready to get going again. I went with a simple smile instead of that zigzag mouth so that it wouldn't be so cluttered. And that other mouth was a hot mess, so I'm glad I changed it. Atlas got a little fussy, so we took another quick break. Dad came over to play and we gave him the pacifier. Baby artists are still babies, so of course they get fussy and they need to rest sometimes. Just be patient and work on your projects when you can. Between me trying to figure out filming angles and changing around the pumpkin's face, Atlas took a couple of naps throughout this process. Overall, the project is super easy. Just remember to be patient with your baby and with yourself. Go with the flow and above all, have fun. This is about making memories and new experiences for you and baby. After I painted his hand, my sister helped out by lifting up the pumpkin so that I could stamp his hand more easily. After we stamped it, I cleaned his hand off immediately after. I obviously don't want him to eat paint and he puts his hands in his mouth a lot, so I would definitely suggest doing the hands last, cleaning the hands immediately after, and even putting on a sock for extra protection until you're really able to get in there and get all of the paint off. Even though this is non-toxic, you can never be too careful. Dad came over to help and immediately broke the pumpkin stem. Broke the pumpkin stem. And then you try to stick it up there like it didn't happen. <laughs> 
but really it's okay. It's all about making memories and going with the flow. And yes, that is the stem falling off just moments later. It came out really cute and I was so excited. This is the first project that Atlas and I have done together. He did some hand and footprint stamp projects with nurses at the NICU, but this was the first one that we did together. I got emotional because I just love him so much. For the final step, I used a Sharpie to write his name. This would be great if you did this with more than one child and needed to know who did what. Plus, as a side note, just in case you make a mistake with your Sharpie, you can clean it off with rubbing alcohol. Just put a little bit on a cotton ball and it comes off super easily. And that's it! This was so fun and is going to be a great memory for me. Even though Atlas won't remember it, I'll always remember our very first project. My baby's first jack-o'-lantern! Ah! I'm going to cry again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!